Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Blind. This is episode 4. So, in the last part, uh, we went out and met uh, Yosuke and his senpai, which I can't remember the name of, but she was just on the news testifying against something or other. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not a great deal happened. So, Oh, and they told us to uh, go look at the TV at midnight, apparently. So, uh, let's go do that. It's raining tonight. You made a promise to try out the rumour about the midnight channel. Return to your room and watch the midnight channel? Yes, let's do this. So you can only watch the TV... Can you only watch the TV on rainy nights, or...? I, I don't know. We'll have to see how things pan out, I guess. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chase's story be true? Find out in the next exciting episode of Tales of the Unexpected. Oh crap. That's not good. That can't be good. Not in the slightest. Okay, apparently TVs develop touchscreen technology instantly. That's not good. Oh, snap. Well, this cannot possibly end well in any sense. My head is stuck in the TV. Ah, but th bet that hurt. I really bet that hurt. Are you okay? I'm okay. Don't worry about it. Just bleeding everywhere. Good night, Nanako. You have a pleasant sleep. Yeah, what did just happen? That was weird as hell. So we like got half sucked into the TV, but we didn't quite get sucked into the TV? What was that all about? Oh well. Miss Sofue. Kimiko Sofue. How much are uh, world history? Ah, you could be a cool teacher then. I like history. So, uh, I'd love to use my dowser to look for lost items. That's <laughs> okay. History like a river. It was born in the past and flows forever forward. That's a good metaphor. I like that one. Start with an easy question. I'll transfer in Mr. Inazuka. Oh dear. Oh, I might know this one. History is my good subject. When did AD, in other words, Anno Domini, begin? When Christ was born. Hey! See? I knew that one. That was, well, that was an easy question. What the hell? Ugh. Before Christ and... Ah, uh, what was AD? Bollocks! I don't remember. Yeah, religious wars and power shifts, obviously. Never flowing tide since humanity began. Yes. That is a very good statement there, Miss Sofue. Yeah, holidays are related to religion. Tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. I like Miss Sofue. Miss Sofue is a good teacher. I like how she's really getting into the history as well. Let's look at the origin of civilization. Hey, I gave the correct answer. 
Hey, my knowledge has increased. Epic. So if you get questions right, you get smarter. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Yeah, it's pretty it's weird. Supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Yeah, you're not wrong. Senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Oh, Saki Senpai. She found the body? Oh yeah, of course she did. What am I talking about? Oh, hey Yosuke. How's it going? It's, uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Did you get sucked into the TV as well? Yes, please explain. I want to find out what happened. That was weird as hell. Did you hear the rumor? What rumor? Saki Senpai, supposedly the one who discovered that body. Yeah, I know. It's weird, right? I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. <laughs> I bet, because everybody knows it was her who found the body, for God's sake. And they're going to be like, oh, was it dead? Was it... Hey, uh. Nico, are you hopping out at the end today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Eh, don't worry about it, Yukiko. You have to do what you gotta do. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I bet she is. I guess they're running her ragged. <laughs> no kidding. By the way, did you see it last night? Yes. Why did you not explain the TV would try to eat me? Okay then. My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Your sexuality is in question, that's what it means. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, but she was wearing our school uniform and It's that one in the corner back there, the one with the brown bag. Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. Wow, she is one slutty little mistress over there. I couldn't make out that much detail though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? Three sub. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? No, I couldn't see it, seeing as my head was being eaten by the TV. Did any of your TVs try to consume you, though? That is my question. Was that about getting sucked into your TV? Exactly. tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. No. The TV clearly tried to eat me. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. You people are idiots. Ah, oh, good for you. Can I have one? Oh yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Well, yeah, everybody's got like a flat screen TV now. Electronics department this month. Oh, you have an electronics department, eh? My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Eh, that's a better reason than most to buy a big screen TV. Okay, Che, calm down, please, before you do somebody an injury. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Go jump off a bridge, Yosuke. Nah, I didn't think they would. Oh, not Junes, please, not Junes. I hate the jingle. The jingle is the elevator music for Satan's elevator. Or something along those lines, anyway. Junae's electronics department. Now that's a big ass telly. It's huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? 
somebody who wants high definition pornography? I have no idea. I don't know. Rich folks? Oh, that works too, Yosuke. Yeah, that works too. So, theoretically, somebody could just rob this. Huh. Not worth trying, then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. That's true. But what is there to look at on a switched-off computer? What do you do? Can't get in. Figures. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> You're making fun this of it. it. It was all just a dream. Maybe so, but. That is a good point, Yosuke. <laughs> Buy a flat screen TV, it won't try to eat you. What am I saying? No, you make more sense than Che. TV are you guys in the market for? Um a big one. No, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. So it won't be cheap then, Yosuke, if it's the newest model. That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! <laughs> oh, Yosuke, you're an idiot. You meant by cheap right off the bat. Well, cheap usually means not very expensive. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! Yeah, do that thing like on Max and Paddy where they dress as bears and then rob one. No, I can't do that. Aw, that would've been funny. I'm watching you, TV. No, don't look at me. You might try to consume me again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh yeah. What kind of TV do you uh, dude, help. Dude, please. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, my hand is literally stuck in the TV. Is his arm in the TV? No. No, my arm is not in the TV. You're just seeing things. Now get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> You're funny, Che. Now seriously, get me out. No, I didn't stick my hand through the screen. I'm just stood here like a pillock with my arm through the screen for no fucking reason. I don't know magic. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? <laughs> I would tell you if I knew, but I don't. Well, don't just stand there, pull me out. No, don't go in. Oh, you're an idiot. Hey, don't do that. What are you doing? I I don't know. Oh this is the worst decision ever. I mean, space with nothing in it. Seems very spacious in here. <laughs> I could quite easily live inside this TV, but I choose not to. Uh, Yosuke, do you get off on being an idiot? Please, somebody just get me out of here. Yeah, go pee. Yeah, quickly go pee and then get me out of here. Like, I'm not kidding. No! Don't pee. Yosuke, get out of here! Don't pee all over me! No! Oh, thank god he didn't pee all over me. Shit, customers, they're coming! Get it get me out of the TV! Just pull! You fucking oh, oh god, you guys are idiots. Oh dear. We all fell into the TV. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh god, trippy. Uh that did nothing for my epilepsy.
I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> this is really scary. So we're inside the TV. Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? Hopefully. Are you guys okay? Understanding has increased. Oh, awesome. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say anything. Of course it is. Duh, dummy. God, you're scared. You're so stupid. What, what now? Did you wet your pants? Please, God, no. No, stupid. Look around. Oh dear, we seem to be in some sort of futuristic wrestling ring. Or a studio, a one of the two. Why is it smoke? Something's on fire. Is there? It's the TV world. Man, this place is huge. Now, can we think of an esca Zoom. escape plan, please? Uh, d uh, d uh, I suggest we look around. I don't know. I know, but there might not be a way around if we don't look. Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Exactly. That is my point. Oh dear. This is not good. That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know, Yosuke. Has anybody got like a chimera wing or uh, uh, something? Okay, so how? Uh, yeah, let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Yeah, that's the only way out is through the exit. Let's calm down and think about this. Yeah, good idea, Yosuke. Yes, we just reiterated that like four times. Is there really a way out of here? Hopefully. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Yeah, good logic, good logic. Oh, that's true, but if there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. <sighs> well, you think your day can't get any worse. You find out you're a moron because they think you didn't go into the TV, and then you fall into the TV all because of them. And now there's some creepy ass red door. I don't want to go through there. This place feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this is so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I like the way you think, Yosuke. I know, but... Ugh, might as well. Come on, Chie, otherwise you'll be stuck in this hellhole. And nobody wants that. Okay, so we seem to be in somebody's bedroom or something? It does look a little bit lighter, I'm not going to lie, but still, where the hell are we? No service. A surprise. Well, we are inside the TV, so we're not exactly going to get the most amazing service ever. Holy shit. That's not it's good. There's a door right there, Chie. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. And you need to pee. My bladder's gonna explode. Just go pee in the corner, for God's sake. Yosuke, what are you doing? I'm pissing in somebody's bedroom. Leave him alone. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. <laughs> You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! 
Oh, Yosuke, you're an idiot. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. <laughs> I think that's your fault, actually, Yosuke. Like I care. <laughs> oh, you just got put down. Anyways, what's with this room? Yeah, there's like blood and stuff all over the place. <laughs> well said, Yosuke. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Oh dear. Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. This place is giving me the creeps. I think I've seen that poster before. It looks like she's wearing a kimono or something. I don't blame you. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Hmm. Maybe. Let's get out of here. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Good idea. Good plan. I want to just get out of here. This place is really scary. There's a noose and there was blood everywhere and ugh. Not nice. Whew. They finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Uh, let's not investigate, though, right? No, let's not investigate. I said. Oh God, what the hell is that? Hope. What the fuck is that? Seriously, Japan, what the hell? Sign to the rest of the world. What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? It's got a cute voice. It's clearly evil. Kill it. <gasps> it talked. Oh my god. Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? Don't, don't yell at me like that. Okay, so he's not in the mood to fight. So I guess I guess he's not a bad guy. What is this place, Mr. Bear? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. Oh, well aren't you the most helpful of bears? It's where I live. Well, <laughs> you live here? Apparently. Yeah, good idea, good plan. Jesus, Che, calm down, he's trying to help us here. Just calm down, for God's sake. You've scared the bear off now. Oh no, he's stood behind me. Never mind. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Yosuke, calm down. The bear is not our enemy. Oh, so you're the like the key to the door, as they say. We don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait. Okay. What the hell? You've summoned up a bunch of tube TVs. Now what? Well, where did these TVs come from? Good question. To which I want to know the answer. Yeah, that doesn't belong there, Mr. Bear. Stop pushing. <laughs> so, did we get out? Okay, that was weird. 
seldom going to lie there. That was the weirdest experience ever. So we went into the TV and there was a bear and oh god. Did we make it back? Well, it looks like it. This is your TV store, right? Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Hey, let's go get some side dishes. Delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight. Yeah, why not? Let's go get food. I'm hungry. It's already that late. Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. Yeah, looks like it. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Oh, the poster in the room? That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, that's that single woman, isn't it? Somebody wants to kill me, Suzu Hiragi? Why? Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Yeah, I knew it was connected to the TV world somehow. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Makes sense, don't it? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Gotta stop talking about this. Yeah, good idea. Wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take any more. <laughs> Let alone your bladder, right? <laughs> I'm feeling a chill too. That's probably because you're wearing such a short skirt. I don't lie down and rest. Yeah, let's go home. That's probably for the best. See what uh, Nan Nanako has uh, cooked up for us today. Hey, welcome home. Hi, what's going on? Can I have food, or are you neglecting me again? Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Yeah, she works at June Aid, doesn't she? Uh, people... She wasn't at school and she discovered the body. Yeah, she discovered the body, didn't she? Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh dear. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Well, that's never good. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Wait, that's where Yukiko works, isn't it? Yeah. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. Oh, good for Yukiko, I guess. She'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Okay, so that guy's after Yukiko, apparently. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility oh, good. Apparently staying in the Amagi Inn. Oh dear. Saki Konishi. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, where's mine? Give it some more time. 
Uh, I just sneezed all over your food. Jesus me, you're just disgusting. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? I sneezed once and you're already forcing medicine down my throat? Wow. You're not as irresponsible as I thought you were. Or maybe you are, maybe you're trying to kill me by ODing me. Yeah, good plan, good plan. Oh, but anyway, Seegers, we're now uh, in the save room yet again. I think it is time for me to end the episode, as it were. So, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching episode 4 of Let's Play Persona 4 Blind. I will see you in the next one.